The first question, what is Spring Boot? There are two words here, spring and boot. The first part, spring is something you must be familiar with. It's the Spring Framework. It's a framework which lets you write enterprise Java applications. It's a huge framework. It does a lot of stuff, and I'm not going to go into the detail. Again, like I said, it's kind of a prerequisite for this course. You should at least have some basic familiarity with the Spring Framework. Boot is bootstrap. Spring Boot is something that lets you bootstrap a Spring application from the scratch, and that's how it gets its name, Spring Boot. Here is the official definition on the Spring.io website. Spring Boot makes it easy to create standalone production-grade Spring-based applications that you can just run. There are a lot of key elements here, so I'm going to break that down. The first important thing that I want you to take away is that Spring Boot makes it easy to create standalone production-grade Spring-based applications. So the key here is creating Spring-based applications. Spring Boot is a tool which lets you create Spring-based applications. Now, what do these Spring-based applications look like that Spring Boot creates for us? It's standalone. It runs on its own. It's production grade. So again, it's not the Hello World uh, application. You have something that you can actually deploy to Prod. And it is something that you can just run. This is very important because if you have spent time creating a Spring application without using Spring Boot, you'll understand the pain of having to do a lot of stuff to get to the point where you just run it. There are a lot of configuration steps that you're gonna to have to do, a lot of jars you need to import, a whole lot of stuff to do, and only then you get to a point where you actually run it and see it in action. But with Spring Boot, that's no longer the case. You have an easy way to create a Spring application that just runs with very little effort. So that's the promise of Spring Boot. We'll try that out and see if it really fulfills that promise. Now, to really get Spring Boot, again, like I said, you need to have an understanding of Spring itself. Now, what is Spring? 